Hi, it's Heather with another installment of Already Reviews. And today I want to tell you about this beautiful photo book that I had made for my daughter from Walmart. That's the front cover. That's the back. I've done photo books for years from a bunch of different places. I've tried Shutterfly, I think Snapfish. Um, I've never ordered from them because by the time I get done making the book, it's either too expensive or I get so frustrated trying to make the book itself that I don't even get far enough to order it. I like Walmart, actually. They make good photo books. They have like 180 options for different formats and themes and things. I don't even use, I don't even use them. I do a make my own blank one because you can do whatever you want and it's so easy to use their website. And the cost is like 20 bucks. That's not bad, and that's actually with the price going up. I've paid like 15 for my past photo books, and I like the eight by eight size, that's this one, eight by eight hardcover, but they do matte, glossy, soft cover, um, hardcover. You can add pages. But my favorite part about the whole bookmaking thing at Walmart is that you can change the format on each page, and easily, you guys know, I am like tech stupid. I mean, look at my videos. I can't edit them, I can't do shit. So when it goes to being online and doing stuff like that, it's gotta be easy peasy. And I don't have to give them third party access to all of my files. Because I can just go to Google Photos, upload the photos, download, download the photos to my computer, and then Walmart will let you upload the photos from like a multitude of sources. You can do it where you give them access if you want to, but it's not necessary. So it's like $1.79 to add a page, but my favorite part was like I was saying with the formatting, some pages I wanted six photos. Some pages I wanted two or three or four. I didn't want to have this huge book. So in a lot of cases, if they were like repeat photos or they were all with a certain theme, I wanted to put four, between four and six of them on a page. Not only can you pick the formatting on the page, you're not locked into it. So you, know, you can choose one big photo and then like a medium and a medium and three small ones. But then once you put them on the page, you can move those boxes all over the place. You can stretch them, make them smaller. You can size them, uh, put them at an angle, rotate them very easily. You can also add a text box on any page that you want with all the choices of fonts, with all the colors that you can choose from for the font as well. And then um, if they have pages that automatically show up having text on them and you don't want them, you can delete it and not fill it in and it doesn't show up. But I was able to add my own font, um, my own text boxes where I want them on certain pages. And so, never a dull moment. Anyway, I can add the text boxes on whatever pages I want to. I will say, I've 20 pages has always been enough for me for any of the books that I've made previously because they were for specific topics. But my daughter and I had so much fun in Nashville and she's not a, a picture taker, neither really am I. 600 pictures we took in four days. We had fun. So I was able to edit them, eliminate blurry, duplicates, all that stuff, and wound up with still like 400 pictures. My arm was numb from using the mouse all day, like eight to 10 hours at the desk with moving things around on each page very easily, but it wound up being 65 pages. So I had to get up and walk around. The book was delivered a day early. It was supposed to be here today. It arrived yesterday. I ordered it, so we flew back on Wednesday. I made the book on Thursday, last Thursday. Ordered it late Thursday night, and it was delivered at my house this Thursday. So, you do need a week, but they have books. Walmart does books that you can pick up in the store within an hour. It's just, I had too many pages to have that option. So, I had to do the one where it was shipped. I will say, this was my priciest um, photo book because I haven't ever added so many pages. I wish that they had an option and they may have and I just didn't look. It's like $19.99 for 20 pages, glossy hardcover in eight by eight. You put as many photos on each page as you want. I added 44 pages. So my book was like $75 after tax. I think it was 64, $63, something like that. But it's $1.79 for each extra page. So I added more pages than the initial book even cost. Um, now the one downfall is that 
when the book came, I'm on my way to give it to my daughter, which is why I wanted to hurry up and show it to you because I won't have it anymore. They printed, this is the front, and this is the back. I didn't want, oh, I'm supposed to, I can't show you my daughter. I don't want my face in the front of the cover. I don't think she does either. It was a nice back cover photo. I wanted the hotel. Like, it was cool. They printed the book backwards. Not inside. But they printed the front cover on the back and the back cover on the front. That's never happened before. And when I complained to them yesterday, um, they refunded the entire purchase price. So I can either buy another book when I get the refund for, you know, get it done correctly, or I can just explain to my daughter that she needs to store the book this way. And when she wants to look at it, she just has to flip it over. So $75, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll leave it up to her. But I wanted to let you know, Walmart, dot com you you can you can't reach it through the app your purchase will show up in the app but anytime you want to look at the status of it and go to the order details it sends you to the website so you can't use the Walmart app to make and order a book you just have to go to the website the walmart.com website um, I highly I like their books I will continue to purchase their books even if they make a mistake because I got all my money back and you know I'd rather have my money back I mean the book is not backwards inside then I would we'll say I love the book and since I wasn't able to show you guys I didn't do all my reviews for the hotel and stuff while I was there because I didn't want to do that to my daughter that's not what I was there for here's the lobby of the hotel really pretty hotel I love the graduate anyway questions or comments please feel free to leave them if you want to hit like or subscribe at some point I would love somebody to do that and uh, you guys have a great day thank you